Thank you, Lord. Hey, Pandora, this is this time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
and release that thing into God's hands. I, there, there's, there's no amount of oil that can change you. Hallelujah. There's no amount of hands that can be laid on you. That, that comes from when you say, God, I've had enough. Hallelujah, I've had enough. And I want to see change today. I want to see breakthrough now. I want to be delivered now. Not someday. Not, not by and by when the morning comes. But I need you right now. Hallelujah. And, and, and there's, a, there's a place where God hears your cry. Yes. And, and he can interpret your cry better than your words. Yes. Hallelujah. He can interpret your cry better than your words. Yes. 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 See, with your words, Chris, you try to explain it to him. Yes. But he already knows what you're trying to explain. Yes. Yes. You, you try to convince him of something that he already understands. The one that, the one that has to be convinced is you. Amen. The one that has to be convinced. God stands ready to change. God stands ready to save. God stands ready to heal. God stands ready to deliver. There's no drug. There's no alcohol. There's no other vice. There's no, uh, no form of bondage that God can't deliver from. And, and he stands ready to deliver those that want to be delivered. Yeah. Hallelujah. Those that want to be changed. But, but there's a cry. There's a cry. There's a point where you're comfortable in the fight. And there's a point where you say, I got to get out of this. Yeah. 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 And God has come. God has come. True. God has come now. Hallelujah. Ready to deliver. Hallelujah. Ready to set free. Hallelujah. Ready to bring about permanent change. Permanent change in your situation. Hallelujah. He'll change your mind. Hallelujah. I say he'll change your mind. Amen. I rebuke the devil that attacks your mind right now. The devil that says that you can't when God says that you can. Hallelujah. The devil says that you will always be what you always have been. Amen. But God has already promised to change you and save you to the uttermost. Hallelujah. He'll wash cussing out of your mouth. Hallelujah. He'll, he'll cleanse sickness out of your body. Hallelujah. He'll, he'll free you from sin. When you cry. When you cry. When you determine. When you determine. That I, I can't I can't be satisfied as I am anymore. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can't be satisfied in my current condition. Yeah. Hallelujah. The enemy come to bring de uh, depression. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. He come to bring weights. <laughs> Hallelujah. He come to bring burdens. <laughs> Hallelujah. He, he comes to weigh you down with things that you can't carry and were never designed to handle. Amen. But God come and say, I have come that you might have Bless life and that more abundantly. I, I'm telling you, I'm speaking against every trick and every trap that the enemy has brought into your situation and he has tried, he has tried to ensnare you and, and, and convince you that it'll never change. He's trying to convince you that you will always be what you were. Amen. And God said, if you be in me, I will make you a new creature, a new creation. The old things have passed away. You'll never be the same. You'll never be the same. I said you'll never be the same. Hallelujah. It is, it's trying to bear root. It, it, it's trying to catch root in your soul. It's trying to catch root in your soul. How, how can light and darkness abide in the same place? What fellowship does light have with darkness? But and, and we are children of the day. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. And the enemy is trying to pull shade on, on the day that is your life. I'm, I'm telling you, I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I absolutely know. I absolutely know that he's trying to make you find peace in things that can't give you peace. He's trying to make you find hope in the places where there is no hope. He's trying to make you hold on to things that God has already ordained for you to let go. Yes, sir. He, he, he try, he's trying to convince you that there is no hope in God. But I have come. I have come to tell you on today that God is in fact still healing. He is. He, he's, he, he, it's not what he used to do. It's not what happened back in the Bible days. And I'm telling you, he'll heal marriages. Hallelujah. He'll heal your soul. He'll heal your mind. 
And here you are in the place of opportunity. Here you are in the place of breakthrough. Here you are in the time that God has ordained for every weight and every sin. Amen. To be laid aside. Hallelujah. And here you are in the laying place. Here you are in the altar of your life. Hallelujah. Where you can lay all of your burdens. Where you can cast all of your cares. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And here you are in that time. I can't guarantee what will happen, but I can guarantee that he will do just what he said he will do. Yes, sir. When you do what he told you to do. When you come to him just as you are. When you come to him and lay them down, cast your cares cast the care on him. him. Cast your cares on him. Cast your cares on him. Don't, don't carry some. Don't carry some of the cares. Yes, sir. Cast them all, all of them. on him. Don't let him just handle something, but give them all to Everything. him. Everything. Yes, sir. He stands ready. He stands ready. See, sometimes we, we're satisfied being good. And good is the greatest enemy of great. Hallelujah. Because you have an opportunity to be better than you ever could have imagined. You have an opportunity to be something that you only dreamed of or read about or saw on TV. But that can be your life. Yes. Hallelujah. That can Hallelujah. be your reality. Yes, you don't have to be bound by what you came out of. But you can be a new creation in yes, him. You Thank you, Lord. You can be a new creation in him. He's calling you yes. into that new place. He's calling you into that healthy place. Yes, He's sir. calling you into that wealthy place. And it's a lie that says that you can't do it. Yes, sir. It's a lie that says that you won't be what he said. Hallelujah. And it's only now. It's only now in his presence that we realize how real he is. Hallelujah. When we realize how close he is, we're waiting on him to come, and now he's a very present help. Yes. Hallelujah. He's here. He's here to lift a burden that you have buried. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I say he's here to lift a burden that you have buried. Amen. Come on, there's somebody here. Amen. There's, there's burdens that you don't carry on the outside, that everybody doesn't know that you're going through. Hallelujah. They don't, everybody doesn't know that you're dealing with it because you buried it so deep down within you. Yes. Amen. You don't want nobody to know how, how hard it is that you have it because you buried that thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Hallelujah. You have suppressed, you have suppressed that thing so far that it's more real to you than what's happening on the surface. It's more real to you than your smile. It's more real to you than your dance. Hallelujah, because that thing is down in the core of you, and God is calling that thing out of you. Hallelujah, that rock in your stomach. Hallelujah, that rock that burdens you, that, 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 that oppresses you. Hallelujah, it, it keeps telling you that you'll always be this. I, I keep hearing the Lord say that, that this is a time of change. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah, this is a time of change. Amen. I won't Amen. always be like this. Amen. Hallelujah, I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna stay like this. It doesn't matter how bad I was. I won't stay like this. Amen. It doesn't matter when I did it. I could have done it today, Come but on, it's over man. today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to be better. Hallelujah, I'm going to be better. Hallelujah. 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 God has God has a sudden uh, effect on our lives. Yes. A sudden effect on our lives. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a like Pentecost when when Pentecost came. It said and suddenly and suddenly and suddenly there and came suddenly. a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, God is doing sudden things in your life. Right now, there, there's a suddenly, there's a sudden Pentecost wind, hallelujah, that's flowing over your life, hallelujah, and if you were to receive, amen, the wind of Pentecost over your life right now, there will be a sudden change that you, that, that your, your former burdens will be unrecognizable, Yes, sir. hallelujah, your former weights will be unrecognizable, undetectable in your life, suddenly, God is going to bring about a change, suddenly. hallelujah, suddenly, those things that you used to have a desire for, you will lose a taste for, yeah. you will lose an appetite for, suddenly, suddenly, suddenly he will release the change that used to have you bound and oppressed and you couldn't move from the left to the right, but suddenly, suddenly you're going to be better. Hallelujah. Suddenly you will be changed. Hallelujah. I think God, I think God's breakthrough is taking place not just in this room, hallelujah, but in your room. Hallelujah. Breakthrough is taking place. Don't you miss the wind. Don't you miss the wind. Taking place right now. I'll never 
be found again. I'll never be found again. Hallelujah. If my bondage costs me too much. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. My bondage costs me too much. Your bondage, it cost you. It cost you too. It cost you too many years out of your life. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It cost you too many years out of your children's life. It cost you. It cost you too much. You gotta declare that this is my day. Hallelujah. This is my day and I'll never be the same. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, this is my day and I'll never be the same. Yes, I receive God and, and I receive his healing. Yes, sir. Yes. I receive his healing. Yes, sir. I see weights. I see weights falling <laughs> off as we speak. And but but what? But, but here's, here's the thing. God. I see the abundance of weights. I see the abundance of weights. So they're falling off like layers. They're falling off like shells. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But under that shelf is another shelf. And under that layer is another layer. And, and I see them falling off like, like layers. Hallelujah. But God is taking you down to the red meat uh, of your situation. You know, where on the surface is it's all right. But then when you get under the skin level yes, sir. and it gets a little tender. Yes, sir. And, and it's in the tender areas. Yes, sir. It's in the tender areas that we need deliverance. It's in the tender areas that we need to be free. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We're willing, we're willing to lose the surface things. Hallelujah. But there's the things that are deeper in our soul. Yes. Hallelujah. The things that we don't talk about in testimony service. Those are the things that we need to be free from. Those are the things that we're holding on to because it's it's so sensitive. Have you ever been so hurt that you protected the pain? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Have you ever been have you ever been hurt like that? Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. it hurts right here. You know the rib is hurt, so you protect the rib. Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and, and so, but you're protecting the rib from healing. You're protecting the rib. You're trying to protect yourself, but you're protecting yourself from your own healing. Mm. Amen. Amen. Preach that. You protecting, you're protecting yourself from your own breakthrough. Because you're trying to guard it, but you're guarding it from the physician. <laughs> the physician is ready to operate and, and, and bring a total change to your situation, but you won't let them access it. Where's that place? Where's that place in your heart? Where's that place in your heart? It may be something that happened in your childhood that you don't even talk about, that nobody in your circle even knows about. But, but it happened. It was real. And you just said, I'm going to bury it right here. And I'm going to protect it. And I'm going to make sure nobody else accesses that place. You've been protecting it from God. Amen. You've been protecting it from your own healing and from your own deliverance. God is here to do deep, deep surgery, deep surgery in your situation. Hallelujah. Deep surgery in your situation. Deep surgery on your soul. Deep surgery. Deep surgery in your heart. And, and to seek out the deep things, the hidden things, the buried things, the suppressed things. And he's healing right now. Right now. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you would lift your hands right where you are, hallelujah, if you would lift your hands and say, God, I receive it. Hallelujah. And when you lift your hands, you're doing more than receiving it. You can say this, say, God, I surrender. I dare you. Come on, come on, right there. Just lift those hands. Just lift those hands and say, I give up. Well, hallelujah, I surrender. I, I, I've been trying. I've been doing all that I could. I, I've been trying to do it on my own. I've been trying to figure it out. I've been trying to work it out. But now I surrender. Hallelujah. I can't help myself. I need you to help. I'm at your mercy. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. Hallelujah. Press, press into that place. Hallelujah. Now the Tennessee is now, now it's beginning to it's beginning to come real. It's beginning to surface in your mind. Surrender. Don't, don't, don't go back. Don't go back. Stay in the stay in that surrendering place. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come 
on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There's pain that you forgot about. There's pain that you forgot about. But, it, but it's been infected in your life. It's been, it's been hurting you, but you, you became numb to it. You became numb to it, but it was still diseased. That thing that was infected and diseased in your life, given permission, will spread. It'll spread like cancer to everything that it can attach itself to. And it'll break down every system. It'll break down your faith. It'll break down your joy. It'll break down your hope. It'll, it'll break down kindness in you. It, it'll, it'll make you callous in every way. It, it'll make you not care anymore. Hallelujah. It's trying to spread. Amen. And God said, I'm, I'm reversing the spread. Hallelujah. I'm reversing the spread. Amen. I'm restoring the years and everything that the kingdom of and the call of word brings to destroy. Amen. I'm renewing the tissue. I'm making it alive.
Hallelujah, let your word work when I'm not there. Hallelujah, but you're there right now. Touch your people. Touch your people. Hallelujah. Thank you, have no control. Hallelujah, for you are not Lord. Hallelujah, for you are not Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah.
I speak the word of affirmation on your life, but it's got to become your testimony. Yes, sir. It's got to become your testimony. I can say it, but you've got to believe it. It's got to become your confession. It's got to become what your mouth says. You let those six say, I'm healed. You let the four say, I'm healed. It's got to be what you believe. It's got to be what comes up out of your soul. Wow. 
Hallelujah. I allow you to be God over diabetes. Yes, sir. I allow you to be God over COVID. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I allow you to be God over depression and lack. Hallelujah. I, I, I allow you to be God over, over stress and bondage in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I allow you to be God over disobedience. Hallelujah. And bring things back into order in the name of Jesus. I, I allow you to straighten up our house right now. In the name of Jesus, I allow you to kick out everything that ain't like you. In the name of Jesus, you are Lord at that address. You are Lord on that phone. In the name of Jesus, you are Lord in that situation. Hallelujah. I rebuke the lie that's been spoken over their lives. That said they'll never change. They'll never be better. Hallelujah. that they forgot. Jesus. Deliver and bring, make them new. Yes, Lord. And I give you all the glory. Yes, all the glory. All the glory. I give you all the praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Jesus' In Jesus name. Jesus name. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. God has done something special for us on today. Hallelujah. Not just for you, but for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a landmark Hallelujah. in your life. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. You need to mark it on your calendar. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. And remember this day. Mark it right next to your birthday and your anniversary. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. And say, this is that day. This yes. is that day. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know, but, but uh, something you, happened on August the 30th, yes. 2020. Yes. Yes. Amen. So I, I remember that day. Yes. A day that will ring in for me. Where I was forever changed. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. I celebrate with you your breakthrough. Yes. Thank you, God. Amen. I celebrate with you your deliverance. Amen. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And I celebrate our God with you. Yes. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Now, if you're not saved today, don't let the sun go down. Amen. 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 Don't let this message in yes. without calling out to God. Yes. You may not know the fancy prayer. You may not know all the words to say. Mm -hmm. But just say, save me, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's save yeah. me, Lord. Yeah. And, and run to somebody's church. Yes. Glory, glory. Yes. Run to an altar. Amen. And give your life to him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he will save you to the utmost. Yes, yes. he will. I thank God for yes. Jesus. Thank you, yes, Lord. And I thank God for what he's doing in your life. Thank you, Lord. I can't wait to see the generations of testimonies that will come out of the breakthrough of this day. Amen. We'll never be the same. Amen. But we'll always be new Thank you, Lord. in Him. Thank you, Lord. God bless you and keep you is my prayer in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give him one more hand.